Welcome back, lovers. It's MJ from Ultra Love TV. Happy to be here with you guys. It's a Thursday morning, and that is all. Feel free to check out the website and all that shazam. I offer these tarot readings, uh, online yoga, and there's merchandise in my book. <laughs> I published a book a few years ago. Holy shit. I mean, it's such a funny thing when we create things and it in the moment it's like the thing and then years go by and you're like, oh yeah, that old thing. Huh? Anyway, you can buy it. <laughs> There's some useful tips and tools in there. Uh, just, you know, moving through and that book really came off the back of s some pretty powerful transformational experiences myself. And, uh, and ultimately my my awareness of what ne what now I know people call spiritual pa bypassing. So over the course of my life, being treated a certain way. So I have a part in the book that's called Beyond Words because I'm somebody who teaches people to like be in tune with their intuition and like spidey senses. So the Beyond Words thing is that like, and this is like a classic thing in empath community, although I'm not into labels, okay? So know yourself. Don't hook it, don't attach yourself to a label, although come on, that's what we do in our society. Um, where was I even going with this? Empaths sensing, oh, when people are lying or just like the, I mean, and like, here's the thing, people, this is why it's like, don't think you're great because you feel, it's like, that's just life. And if anything, more of us feeling having compassion can then hold space for people who are uber duper traumatized still lots and don't feel i mean even listening to some gabor mate and he and he was talking to another medical doctor about like you know there's a process in our school education where we're legitimately taught not to feel like, you can't be a medical doctor and fix people's problems and then get all mucked up in their emotions. But Gabor is like, our emotions are intrinsically connected to our well-being, i.e. the things we go to our doctor for. So what are we going to do? And then, and then, you know, he's a retired medical doctor. He's just like, what are we going to do? It's a tricky one because essentially with these discoveries and evidence-based teachings, really like metaphysical it's supranatural. <laughs> it's tenacious, dear. Um, it changes the whole game. And that's why people don't. It's like people's identity, livelihoods, money, 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 power, status, control. All these things are wrapped up in people's livelihoods. And yet we're discovering as a species that some of these platforms of people in power their livelihoods essentially are based in lies like or not lies but more like what's the word like it's like the thing of there was a time where we believed certain things what was i thinking about yesterday ah okay because i'm getting lots of ther therapy for my addictions and i thought you know if there was a time in our human past where people thought smoking was good for you oh yeah that was like a thing I don't know why I was just smoking <laughs> and like thinking, oh, please give me the grace to not want to do this anymore. Um, and I thought, yeah, it's, it's that because I do all the breathwork meditation. I, you know, endeavor to eat healthy, I eat natural, organic, local food, blah, blah. And I'm aware that all these things and I talk about, you know, not watching news and be uber discerning. Although let's be fair, these phones and devices are mega addictive. So holla, 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 we're all addiction. Addiction? We're all addiction. <laughs> Why not? I mean, we're addicted to life. Oh man, I'm still just a rambling. Um, so if there was a time in our human history where we were all told that smoking was good for us, and we're like, oh yeah. But then now we're living in a time where, no, no, it's obvious. It's really not good for you. Like you're not gonna, you know, have somebody smoking and be like, yeah, that's, it's good for you. Like we know this now. Fast, fast food, processed food, so much shit, basically watching shitty negative programming all of it has a detrimental effect to our well-being all of it and you're like that's so disappointing i know because existentially it's like we're all running away 
let's just pollute the ocean, <laughs> run away from our problems. And, and, and again, we can point fingers and, and ca ca alarm everyone and catastrophize everything and climate change. This is, uh, uh, yes, uh, oh no, uh, who cares? Like either way, you probably have some shazam inside your own heart that you wanna sort out. <laughs> Or not, I don't know. Who who am I? I somebody recently was like, You don't practice what you preach. I'm like, Well, I'm not a preacher at all. Although I apologize if that comes across that way, because I know who who likes to know it all? Nobody. Um, but I but it's not like that. For me, this platform hella hella, like since the beginning of time <laughs> was just to share. It's legit just to because I was having inner, like, miraculous experiences doing the shadow work. And I was like, guys, 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 guess what? And, uh, yeah, I just wanted to share. Like, oh my gosh, if you do this, you could end up transforming some really shitty patterns. It might work for you, it might not. Like, there's a there's actual line in the book of, like, this isn't going to resonate with everyone. Fair dues. Um, but then people are like, you don't practice what you preach. I'm like, I'm not preaching. I'm just practicing. I had, like, some stuff worked out. And I'm just practicing this stuff i'm not even and like it's it's so funny because other people put the labels on i'm like you're uh this or that and i'm not not human human doing her best i'm not a spiritual teacher just you know just because i do the yoga doesn't doesn't mean i am like a master although let's come on with you guys we try <laughs> let's just attempt to be masters of compassion I'm still talking, but I don't care. I'm having fun. Hmm. I import my coffee from Vietnam. Just side note, that's probably bad, but whatever. It's all like Shazam. Okay, I'm, I am pulling cards, so also thanks for bearing with me, you guys. Or actually enjoying some of the content I share, so holla. Um, can you count how many times I say holla or holla Shazam? Because I am annoying myself. Okay. You guys, some of you guys are straight up in denial about something. It's just the cards. It's for entertainment. Don't forget that. And But if you do resonate, like, comment, let me know. Book a reading. Some of you are like... Uh, so, um, this, so, straight up, like, this very likely uh like okay so it's dominant pentacle loads of pentacles so this is to do with your physical reality your money um there could be like a slightly uncomfortable uh something that throws you off balance a bit a message that comes in regarding a past lover somebody that you perceive as a soulmate and or this is a family member like like a, a soulmate like somebody from your past a childhood friend maybe a sibling but feels more like somebody you might have had either a solid friendship with in the past or there was a loving connection supreme um but you were the other person so the message comes in the return and you're like sitting on it four of cups or four of four of pentacle sitting on it like what do i do with this information and then over here you're in denial about something it's like you're not wanting to see you're not wanting <clears throat> yeah i could i'm hearing that thing of like i don't even want to see it or something like i don't want to even go there like you might just choose to step back and be like yeah i know i know what that's about we're good Because there's a fair amount of um, just shady energy. Not like, but not malevolent, not nefarious. It's not like dark, <laughs> right? Um, it's, 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 uh, it's just people not in the upright, people not necessarily telling the truth. You're in denial. It's like, what was I blabbing on before, but beyond words? Like, I think you know deep down somebody's lying to you. This is a king of pentacle. This could, again, be a work situation, but m overall, this is to do with a physical, your life, your physical reality, your home, your job, your money, the people around you. There's a sense of like, don't, <clears throat> don't worry about the pentacle. Um, you are 
like okay it's like you're coming through okay financially but um I feel like you might be doubting yourself or you might be going through a bit of a phase where more is going out than it's coming in so be mindful of that. Uh, balancing your books is supreme. Balancing the energies, okay? That's going to help you just feel more balanced. Don't, like, deny your intuition. There's this king of pentacle, earth sign. They're in the reverse. You're blindfolded. It's like, don't deny the truth that you know. This could be something like a rando test. So somebody could be returning from your past, thinking it's a soulmate, la, la, la. Um, there could be a message coming in. It might destabilize you, throw you weight. Hold on to your pentacle, though. Don't just, you know, invest the whole lot. Or don't necessarily just, like, shoot your mouth off to this person. This king of pentacles, straight up, is somebody that you probably cannot trust. This is somebody, like, that because they, they, they might have some sort of power over you. That's why you're blindfolded around them. But truly, I, oh, this is so weird. Like, some of them, like, straight up legit, they might be after your money. They're looking over at the nine of pentacle and you're like, I'm not sure. Like, do I make the investment? No, because it's all, this is like, you're part of the, like being in the blindfolded is like, Oh, I don't know, but you do know because this nine of pentacles in the reverse, like nine of pentacle reverse is like possibly making some shit investments and losing a substantial amount of cash. The four of pentacles is like the advice vibratory of like, don't just Put all your four pentacles in one basket, especially if it's a king of pentacle. Uh, which could be any father figure, authority figure. Um, again, somebody, a romantic lover from your past. Zoom out though, like get some perspective before moving forward and making some hardcore decision. Do you, you, pardon me, you definitely want to be loving this area. For some of you, you want to be really relying on your pot, as it were, like your ability to grow. Yeah, and that, I keep getting the message of like, zoom out, y'all. And I, maybe this is like a little bit of a collective vibratory as well, but like the zooming out energy is so that we can get perspective. So we're not like in the fray or in the detail. Um... However, when you're zooming out, don't be afraid to look at the detail either. Because the eagle, the owl energy is making me think about the perspective, right? Our perception and how sometimes when we zoom out, we look at things from a higher vantage point or just simply a different one, right? And that will give us aim. That will give us a sense of where we might want to go from here. Because for some of you, you want to be really feeling good about the direction you're going in if somebody's destabilizing you if you feel blocked or if you feel like oh i don't know then don't though don't move on it right like don't make the decision i realized that over the years just learning through experience about business um and it goes both ways as far as like not you don't need to make a decision when you're unsure or in doubt or in the of shits <laughs> nor uh, like also not that wise to make decisions when you're super excited like the kind of middle the kind of like centeredness and groundedness and la la and brr, 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 brr. you kind of want to be making decisions from that more rounded centered place not the extreme right it's like we don't necessarily want to break up with somebody when we're in this when we're in some deep reaction or something because we're more likely to be reactive rather than uh, aware, present, right? Able to discern the difference, you know, letting emotions and thoughts pass until there's deeper clarity. Some of you do have like a fair bit of money coming in, but it's just, uh, this is a bit of a test as far as throwing you off your balance with regards to Pinnacle, but then keep them tight. Like right now, I'm I'm seeing that you Yeah, you just don't want to rush with regards to where you're wanting to invest. There's definitely like some investment energy, just not 
like hugely positive yet. Mm, some for some of you this is actually really deep um uh yeah for some of you this is like a fate um uh, heartbreak mourning like you're actually going through something super profound as far as losses like you might have lost a parent or a child um For some of you, it could be also an initiation to some of your, like, beyond gifts. So this card is speaking often to the going into the underworld, which is partly, like, this idea of shadow work. But, um, something about, like, forever changed. Like, for some of you, you're heading into this phase of, like, holy sh shazam. Um, the judgment as well, like you're, no matter what, and I don't mean to frighten you, but no matter what, you're going to be very different after this sort of like phase of time, you're going to be a very different person. I, um, yeah. <laughs> okay. I think that's it for today. Anywho, thanks a lot for being here. You guys have an awesome day. Mega heart love appreciation vibratories all over <laughs> your face. <laughs> Hot love. Be good to you. Peace out.